Namaste guys, today I'm going to cover Jupiter, the Jupiter transits around the houses and uh, Jupiter takes a year to transit each house so it takes him 12 years to go around the zodiac and every time Jupiter transits a house he expands the house in a good way or in a bad way depending on what planets or what house he's in. Now um, Jupiter is Jesus, is Zeus, Jesus, Zeus, same thing. And if you go and you research Astro Theology by um, Santos Bonacci, you will see how uh, the Bible took Zeus as Jesus, the mythology. So um, that's another whole story, so you can go and check that out. But here in astrology, uh, Jupiter is the planet that blesses and brings prosperity and especially with luck. Now, um, when Jupiter transits the first house, um, he's going to expand your image. And, and I, I mean literally he will because when somebody has um, Jupiter in their first house transiting they have to watch out for weight gain okay I've seen this actually this year actually last year I saw this where uh, uh, three people had their Jupiter transiting their first house on Leo and they just blew up you know I mean they just gained so much weight it's not even funny and that's because of Jupiter adds to your image Venus tweaks your image Mars gives drive to your image and Saturn rebuilds your image but Jupiter actually adds to your image so you have to be very careful when Jupiter transits your first house because he will literally expand you. When Jupiter transits your second house of money that's what it is. It's going to bless you in money. It's going to expand it. You don't really have to worry that much about uh, losing money if you're spending it when Jupiter goes into the second house because it's not like Venus because Venus, when Venus goes into your second house uh, you tend to be spendthrift and you know spend money on nice things and stuff like that. Anything that catches your eye, you will spend money on it, and that will probably cause you a little bit of you know of of going uh, broke. But when Jupiter goes there, money just keeps flowing in out of nowhere. You know you're going to be experiencing expansion there, unless that there's some sort of aspect that's preventing it in your personal chart from you getting you know what you what you're supposed to be getting when Jupiter gets into your second house. When Jupiter transits your third house, you're going to be expanding your surroundings, meaning that you're going to be you're going to be expansive in terms of your surroundings, meaning you're going to be more involved in your neighborhood. You're probably going to get more cars, more than more than one car because, you know, Jupiter means adding and then third house means, you know, um, transportation. You're probably going to be talking more than what you should because, you know, it, the third house pertains to communication and maybe you might have a new sibling maybe uh, your mother might give birth to your brother or your sister. When Jupiter goes into your fourth house, it adds to family, it adds to privacy. Maybe you might add gates around your house. I've seen when Jupiter transits your fourth house, you want more privacy. You want to add to that. You, you, so you, maybe you might be more concerned with you know, the safety of your house and you know, adding security to your house. When Jupiter transits your fifth house, you might have children. It's, it's blessing your, your creativity and maybe you might create a bundleful of, of, uh, of projects when he's in that year of the fifth house. You might have a ton of fun, you might have a lot of, uh, of relationship opportunities, you know. When Jupiter transits your sixth house, it means that you're going to be uh, very much preoccupied with health because there's going to be a lot of things coming in a lot of information coming in terms of your health. Maybe you're going to get a lot of doctor visits, you know, checking your health. Maybe you're going to uh, expand your exercise routine in that whole year, you know. Give a lot of energy into that department of expanding yourself in terms of eating right and, you know, being more careful with what you do. Weight gain in the sixth house is very it's, it's very least probable, like in the first house it's like expanding your image, but the sixth house is like expanding your health. So it's kind of contradictory there. When Jupiter transits your seventh house, it could mean that you could get married or it could mean that you could um, add another business partner to your business. And it could also mean that you are, that you're going to be blessed, that you're going to be um, gaining some money out of your business because the seventh house pertains to business and, and marriage. So you're going to be adding to that, okay? When Jupiter goes into your eighth house of of debt, which is not a good house, so it could it's not a good house, so it could be adding to your debt. 
it could be adding to more credit cards, okay? But it's also the house of sex, so you, you could be having a lot of sex during this time. Just like when Mars enters here, you, you drive is higher, but uh, what Jupiter's doing here is amplifying it. Um, Mars is focusing. Those are the key words you have to use when, you, when you're dealing with astrology. So um, in, in, the, in the eighth house, you could also uh, gain wealth by a, um, a will. Somebody left a will on you and somebody's, you know, and now you're gaining from that will. When Jupiter enters the, the ninth house, it, it means that you're going to gain a lot of knowledge. Now, I remember when Jupiter entered my ninth house, I was, uh, I, I received new higher knowledge that I, I was like quiet for a year because I was receiving so much knowledge that I had not heard before. And it was just so much, but it was awesome. And when you're in the when when Jupiter goes into the ninth house, what it does is that it amplifies your your higher knowledge. And you might want to be traveling a lot, you know, during that time. I did. I wanted to travel. When Jupiter transits the tenth house, it blesses that house. I mean, that's just awesome because what it does is that it it amplifies reputation. You're known. Now all of your talents come you know come to the surface. And uh, it's not like when Saturn transits into the tenth house, and you know you're just unknown to the world. But when Jupiter goes there, all of a sudden you your reputation, you know, just explodes, you know, in a good way. When Jupiter goes into your eleventh house, you will be. And now it's actually in my eleventh house, so I'm very preoccupied with uh, society and and um, getting involved in groups and group activities. So I'm just, you know amplifying my friendships, you know, and, and making new friends. And that is what Jupiter does when he goes into your, to your 11th house. You know, you try to uh, uh, make up new dreams too, because the 11th house pertains to the, to Aquarius, which is the, the inspirational water barrier that brings um, inspiration from the sky, you know, like like, a, like an antenna. So when, when he goes into your 11th house, you're going to feel like, you know, very inspired and, and you're going to want to you know, and meet people and do things together like community. Now when Jupiter goes into your 12th house, you're going to have a lot of dreams because the 12th house pertains to dream, but it also, it's a very dangerous situation because uh, the 12th house is symbolized by Neptis and Anubis, okay, it's like unknown territory, so uh, you raise your chances of getting into, you know, uh, prisons, hospitals, a facility so you have to be very careful with the 12th house but if if not it will make you very humble when Jupiter goes into your 12th house like all the fun that you had in the 11th house will go now to the 12th house you know that's gonna be the focus the 12th house and you could also see it as rich in spirituality you're going to be more connected with the unknown you know so when it goes back to the first house you're gonna already have the experience of the 12th house and all that that you collected in the 12th house is gonna go to the first house so now you can amplify your image, you know, in a good way, not gain, waking. So when when Jupiter goes retrograde in in whatever house, what he does is that he holds back from giving what it is that he's giving. So if it's on the eighth house and it's not that good, he will probably hold off a little bit more. He won't be as harsh. So that's what retrogrades do with, when it comes to Jupiter. He holds off that energy. Okay. So I hope this video helped and uh, Namaste.